Fellows, and welcome to the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational for the Light Heavyweight Championship! After 22 events, the world's first regulated slap fighting league, Slap Fight Championship, has returned to its underground roots. Tonight, 10 professional slappers have been invited to an undisclosed location and have agreed to meet each other at the barrel one by one until only one man remains. The winner of this tournament will become the Slap Fight Championship American Light Heavyweight Champion. We've got a few special guests in attendance along with about 20 fans from Slapfight.live and the world is waiting to see who will take home the vacant light heavyweight strap. So get ready, fight fans. It's time for the 2022 Slap Fight Invitational Single Night Tournament. Let's take a look at the 10 invitees ranked by the World Slap Fighting Alliance. At number 10, a newcomer to Slap Fight Championship, coming to us all the way from El Paso, Texas, Black Jesus. Number nine is Canton, Ohio, gridiron standout, Johnny Juice. Next, Mexico City-based Slap Luchador, The Mexicutioner. Coming in at number seven is Team Tank Slapper, Biscuit, from Missouri. Next, at number six, Demon, a Kansas-based heavyweight, making his first run at the light heavyweight belt. Okuma915 joins us all the way from Western Texas to take the number five spot. Arkansas Slapper and Team Rocky Powerhouse, the Slim Reaper gets his title run. And the number three seat goes to Proud Marine, Shamokin Thunderclap from Pennsylvania. At number two is the pride of Terrytown, Louisiana, the Bayou Bastard. And our top seed is undefeated middleweight champion, Monkey Wrench from Sevierville, Tennessee. These 10 slap fighters have been invited to compete in this tough man style tournament to crown the new champion. Keeping them safe is a top priority at Slap Fight Championship, so we have added two new heavyweight corner men to catch bodies during slap fight events. Former UFC heavyweight champions, Mark the Hammer Coleman and Tim the Maniac Sylvia will be in the corner of each contestant giving sound advice and catching the non-winners when they fall. On the right, UFC Hall of Famer and first ever heavyweight champion, Mark Coleman. And on the left, five-time UFC heavyweight champion, Tim the Maniac Sylvia. So let's get down to the barrel for the first quarterfinal matchup. Pennsylvania-based slapper Shamokin Thunderclap joined the Slap Fight ranks during the Slap Fight Redemption Single Night Tournament where he dispatched the Butcher in three rounds using his iron palm technique and announcing his arrival at light heavyweight. He then dropped to middleweight where he destroyed the Guardian at Armageddon before a medical issue removed him from competition pending surgery. Now the father of eight has returned to make a run at the vacant light heavyweight title. What's your biggest goal out of this? Obviously to win. Obviously to win. Obviously to win. But to be clean and smooth and like no... Uh, no clubbing, no, no penalties. No, no penalties, nothing. I want a nice, clean fight. I want to be able to knock out my guy honorably. Right. These are big dudes. I knock out big dudes, but when he fall, they fall. They fall. That's right. I mean, I, I feel I feel shorter is better than taller. Do you feel that? I live it. All right. 
Monkey Wrench arrived at Slap Fight Championship during the 2022 Young Guns Tournament, winning multiple fights on the same night to earn a contract with the promotion. Since that evening, the Tennessee Slapper has amassed a 5-0 record, becoming the Slap Fight middleweight champion in the process. He now looks to become the second two-division champion in slap fighting history by winning the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational. You got power. Try to bring more into it. Try to bring more into it. The accuracy, you just got to get the power in it. All right. Uh, first one's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. going to be tough? Yeah. I'm going to do everything I can. Man, you are a humble guy, and I like it. You ready to go? Yeah. All right. Let's go. contest is Q Davidson. Hello fight fans and welcome to the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational. My name is JT Tilly and I cannot wait to get these quarterfinal matchups underway. So let's go down to the barrel for the coin toss with our lead official Q Davidson. We'll call the coin toss. Okay. Heads it is. Looks like Shimokin Thunderclap has won the coin toss and he will slap first. All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. And here we are back at the barrel for the start of round one. On the left side of your screen, Monkey Wrench from Sevierville, Tennessee. And on the right, Shimokin Thunderclap from Shimokin, Pennsylvania. Shimokin checks his placement. Here's your windup. One, two, three. And excellent placement on that first slap, as always, from Shimokin Thunderclap. We do know that Monkey Wrench has an iron jaw. He's displayed this in all five of his victories. He's never been knocked down. He's never been knocked out. And uh, admittedly, this will be his toughest One, challenge to date. Two, three. Not a bad slap from Monkey Ranch. A little bit low. But we, we've got a good vote of confidence here from STC. Thunderclap loves to be hit. He loves to be slapped. He's the only guy in the league that enjoys the slaps just as much as he enjoys delivering them. He top of round two. two three, oh, and another fantastic slap from Shimokin Thunderclap. In the corner of Monkey Wrench, former UFC champion and Hall of Famer Mark the Hammer Coleman. 
You'll notice Mark did not touch Monkey Wrench when he drifted back after the slap, and that's because at Slap Fight Championship, if your corner man assists you in any way, as soon as he touches you, it counts as a knockdown. Fantastic by Mark Coleman. And now here we are. Monkey Wrench is back to the barrel. And a fantastic return. All right, Monkey Wrench is back in the fight here. In the corner of Shimokan Thunderclap, five-time UFC heavyweight champion Tim the Maniac Sylvia. Monkey Wrench already showing some visible signs of distress here. He is the top seed in the tournament, the current middleweight champion. Undefeated at five wins and zero losses. Shimokan Thunderclap, third seed in the tournament. Top around three. One, two, three. Oh, a big shot from Shimokan. And Monkey Wrench takes a few steps backwards, doesn't go down. Oh, and then a tap on the back by Mark Coleman. I don't know if the judges are going to call that a a knockdown or not, but but uh, we'll we'll have to see what happens here. Monkey Wrench definitely felt that shot. At Slap Fight Championship, after receiving a slap, all competitors have 60 seconds to regain their composure and return to the barrel. Monkey Wrench is going to take about half of that break and return. <laughs> this is a seven round scheduled fight. Typically at slap fight, the fights will be 10 rounds, but in a tournament setting, seven rounds only. Bottom of round three. One, two, three. And a nice clean slap from Monkey Wrench. Those of you that are fans of Shimokan Thunderclap already know this is a crazy person. He enjoys the pain. He came to us at Slap Fight Championship last year and immediately made a statement with his iron palm technique. Incredible technique in his slaps, very few penalties. And a lot of people would say that being the shorter person in stature would give you the benefit. This is a fight where we will definitely see that tested. Monkey Wrench is part of Team Cannon. Shimokan Thunderclap, of course, part of Team Thunderclap. And here we go. Here's your wind up. Oh, and another great shot by Shimokan Thunderclap. Monkey Wrench eats it, gives him a few kudos here. I believe this is the first time that we've seen Monkey Wrench utilizing all of his breaks. He's definitely feeling these slaps, but again, Monkey Wrench is a tough, tough guy. He is a champion. Another pat on the back by Mark Coleman. I'm certain those won't count, but by definition, that would be two knockdowns, Mark. A lot of tension at the barrel. This is high stakes. Both of these gentlemen want the light heavyweight championship. This is the bottom of the fourth round. Monkey Wrench checks his placement. Here's your wind up. And Shimokan Thunderclap eats another big shot. Fantastic fight so far. I would say that STC is getting the best of the match right now, but anything can happen. There are seven rounds. Shimokan Thunderclap, again, proud U.S. Marine and father of eight. Recently returning from medical suspension. He was knocked out at Slap Fight 20 by the Slim Reaper. And 
After being rushed to the hospital, they found that he had a polyp in his nasal cavity. The polyp was from a, a collision, head-on collision in an automobile years ago, and doctors have removed the polyp, and this is his return to slap fighting. We were told by the doctors that if he had not been rushed to the hospital, he may have died that night. Another great slap by Shemokin. Yeah, to hear Shemokin tell that story, uh, slap fighting saved his life. Again, he was rushed to the hospital after a knockout. Turns out he was just fine. Uh, the issue was a polyp in his nasal cavity, and it is no longer there, so he's probably about a third of a pound lighter. And, of course, uh, not quite as susceptible to the knockouts as you can see here. Monkey Wrench, very quiet, a lot on his mind. 40 seconds left in the break. We have yet to see Monkey Wrench lose a match. We've never seen him quit. This will be an opportunity for him to overcome some adversity. Monkey Wrench coming in at 221 pounds, gives him a 20 pound advantage. Let's see what he does with it. You can see on his face that he's hurting. One, Here we go. Two, three. A yeah. little bit of a flinch there by Shemokin, but the, the slap did land flush, so they probably won't call it. Oh, they're going to call it a warning for flinching. Referee Q. Davidson is going to issue a warning. Now, what that means is if Shemokin Thunderclap flinches again during this match, he will lose a turn. <laughs> Sober is cool. Mark the Hammer Coleman with two years of sobriety. I don't know if you just overheard or not at the barrel there. Shemokin and Thunderclap just mentioned that he has gone two months without a drink. And, uh, you know, that's fantastic. We're all very proud of Shemokin and Thunderclap. And he looks fantastic tonight at the barrel. Here we go. Round six. Another fantastic slap. Shemokin and Thunderclap is putting in some really good work tonight. I can see him chopping away at Monkey Wrench, and really what we're seeing here is a pretty big upset. Uh, STC coming back from a, a, a medical leave and, and, and unseating the, the champion in his weight class, it, it's, uh, it's something that a lot of people did not expect to see tonight. One, Round six. Two, three. Okay, Monkey Wrench is still in this fight. Wow. Again, the 2023 Invitational is a light heavyweight tournament, so if Monkey Wrench were to lose this fight, he would still be the middleweight champion. I'm sure it's on the mind of Shemok and Thunderclap that he can make middleweight, and a win against Monkey Wrench would almost guarantee him a title fight down the line. This is longer than I've lasted. <laughs> Tim the Maniac Sylvia with the one-liners tonight. We should have put a microphone on him. We are 10 seconds out. Here we go. We are in the last round, top of the seventh. In my mind, uh, Shemokin and Thunderclap is, uh, is an edge, just, just has the edge on the scorecards. I don't think he's running away with it, but he is the winner in my mind. Here's his last slap. And it's not bad. Fantastic fight from Shemok and Thunderclap. That's seven rounds without a single violation. That's a professional slap fighter. Fantastic Shemok and Thunderclap. Now, Monkey Wrench has never received a penalty in his entire career. He's got one slap left in the match, and what he does with this slap will determine whether or not he wins the fight. He's going to check his placement here. Not a bad slap, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. We're going to have to go to the judges' scorecards here. We've got to show a respect from both competitors, show a respect from the cornermen. 
fantastic fight. What a fantastic lead off to the 2023 Invitational. Let's take a look at the replay here. Fantastic placement at Slap Fight Championship. The heel of the hand can connect with the face, but it cannot extend any deeper than the tip of the chin. So what you're seeing here is a seven round fight where neither fighter on either side of the barrel had a single penalty. And that I think my friends is fantastic. The judges are deliberating. We're gonna go back to the barrel here and see who's moving on to the semifinals in the 2023 Invitational. And Shemokin Thunderclap pulls the upset. Holy smokes. Monkey Wrench faces his first loss, and Shemokin is the first man to move forward in the bracket toward the light heavyweight championship. Wow. El Paso, Texas-based slapper Okuma915 first gained the attention of Slap Fight Championship in 2022, competing on a regional level in bars and nightclubs, eventually capturing an amateur title and a contract with Slap Fight. He made his professional slapping debut at Slap Fight 21, where he defeated the Mexicutioner by unanimous decision after 10 rounds earning himself an invitation to compete at the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational. I'm Vernon Cathy, and we have Okuma915. How are you, Vernon? I'm doing great. All right, so I heard recently you've been absorbed in this league. I mean, what do you think about that? You happy um, Yeah, I'm happy to be in Slap Fight Championship. I'm comfortable here as a family, so I'm happy. Just want to work my way through the ranks. And Get a belt. All right, you've seen the guys that are competing today. Anyone stand out that you're worried about? Uh, got a lot of respect for everybody in the game, so you know, just ready to go. Yeah, that that is definitely a knockout hand. So, I mean, you're not nervous, nothing about this? No, you know, little butterflies, but nothing out of the usual. Just right. want to, you know, execute some clean slaps and no penalties. So, what's your record so far? Three and zero. Three and zero. You're gonna make it four and zero. Yes, sir. All right. Team Tank Protege Biscuit comes to us from Fulton, Missouri, where he trains with legendary slapper Frank the Tank. Known as the Slap Happy Hippie, Biscuit has become a fan favorite at Slap Fight due to his unconventional approach to slapping. But it was his decisive wins over the Aloha Samurai and the Beast that have earned him a spot in the 2023 Invitational Tournament. All right. Why do they call you Biscuit? Uh, I used to carry biscuits in my pocket and then take a bite out of it, like how we're talking now. And then people were like, hey, you're Biscuit. And I did a lot of dumb stuff when I was younger. So it just kind of. Oh, man. And do you have any other nicknames? Uh, none that have been said to my face. OK. You got any special skills? You think your power is good, your accuracy? Uh, I just try not to get knocked out. Try not to get knocked out. That's yeah. a very important thing. Yeah. All right, well, I look forward to seeing this tournament. And let's see how far you can go. All right, sounds like fun. for the Slap Fight Invitational Light Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Introducing first, weighing in at 205 pounds, from Fulton, Missouri, Biscuit! Team Okuma, 
Weighing in at 202 pounds, from El Paso, Texas, Okuma 915! You are official for this seven round contest from Stu Davidson. Here we are back at the barrel for our second quarterfinal matchup of the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational. On the left side of your screen, we have Okuma 915, and on the right, Biscuit. Lead official Q Davidson with the coin toss. Let's listen in. As it is. And Biscuit wins the coin toss. He will slap first. Biscuit is a member of Team Tank. He trains in Fulton, Missouri. And of course, Okuma 915, El Paso, Texas. Okay, the official is letting Biscuit know that when he receives a slap, he's got to pull his ear out of his crocheted turban. Round one. Oh, a good shot from Biscuit. I'd like to say that was the best slap of the match so far, but that is the first slap. Biscuit gets an attaboy from his corner man, five-time world champion Tim Sylvia. That's got to feel good. This is going to suck. Here's the windup. Oh, no. Okay, now we've got a flinch. Uh, by Biscuit, and we've got a stepping violation by Okuma. So uh, it's likely right now that the official is explaining to Okuma that when there is an offensive violation, the defensive violation is not charged. And so what that means is Biscuit is going to get lucky in the situation here. He will not be charged with a warning, but Okuma now has a warning for stepping, and you can see in the top left-hand corner of your screen, yeah, he pivots his right foot there when he delivers the slap, and that is prohibited here at Slap Fight Championship. One warning for Okuma, if he steps again during the match, he will lose a turn. Here's your windup for round two. And another fantastic slap from Biscuit. Okuma's gonna go ahead and stand at the barrel here and just stare at Biscuit. In the corner of Okuma, again, Mark the Hammer Coleman. UFC Hall of Famer. So glad to have these two UFC champions in the family with us here at Slap Fight Championship now. Oh, okay, another great slap by Okuma, but it did look like a little bit of a flinch there from Biscuit. Okay, they're going to give him a warning now for flinching. As Tim Sylvia looks on with a look of disappointment. Okuma 915 came to us as a regional amateur champion. We watched him uh, compete in, in uh, small shows all around the country, and after a while it was just unavoidable. We had to contact him and bring him on, and, and so we're so happy to have him here at Slap Fight Championship. You've yet to see the best of Okuma. Tonight you're getting a taste of it here. He's uh, very defiant in his fights. He's looking Biscuit right in the eye and sticking his chin right out over the barrel. And he eats another slap. Always respect between the competitors here at Slap Fight Championship. Okuma checking his placement. Here's your wind up, round three. Ow! A big shot from Okuma, and Biscuit goes stumbling back into the arms of Tim Sylvia. Biscuit is awake, his eyes are open. Holy smokes. All right, the medic's going to talk to going to talk to Biscuit now. Okuma takes a knee. Wow. That slap was on the money. Trying to listen in here. It looks like Biscuit uh, this fight may be over. 
Okay, they've called it off, and that's gonna be a win for Okuma 915. Wow. Three rounds to dispatch Biscuit, the veteran, and move forward in the tournament. Unbelievable matchup. Of course, we hope that Biscuit's okay. He's gonna go and talk to the medical team now, and uh, it looks like he's gonna be okay. We love Biscuit at Slap Fight Championship. I'm sure we'll see him again, but that's gonna be it for him in the 2023 Invitational. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Okuma! And there you have it, friends. Okuma 915 moving forward in the bracket. And Biscuit's going to go and uh, have a talk with the medical team. Let's take a look at the replay here. Biscuit with some really solid slaps in this uh, in this fight. You take a look at his placement again, really clean. His, his, uh, the heel of his hand doesn't go any deeper than the tip of the chin. Same with Okuma. Fantastic technique. This is professional slap fighting, guys. We, we try very hard to keep this safe, and as you can see, there's a lead official taking a good hard look at each one of the slaps. There's an official on the other side, and there's also an official above. We have an official watching the feed as well, and our aim is to keep these fighters as safe as possible while they're slapping the piss out of each other. Again, looking at the tournament bracket, you'll see Okuma915 moves into the semifinal where he will face Shimokan Thunderclap for a spot in the final round. I am here with Power Slap standout, Jewel Scott. He's been sitting here watching all the slaps tonight, the, the, the contest, and I just first want to get a general question. What did you feel about this event? These guys are monsters, that's what. Yeah? Uh, yeah, uh, super, super, super impressed. Uh, actually, <clears throat> me and my fiance has been watching maybe for about a year and a half now. Uh -huh. And um, to come in the door and see all these guys in person, uh, is actually mind blowing. Well, you know, I, I actually caught a little bit of you uh, competing as well, and you had a technique that we use a lot here, where you come down low, and, and right. wh where'd you pick that up at? Uh, it's a mixture of a few people. Uh, the destroyer himself. Uh huh. Uh, like I said, I felt like I knew that guy before I before I actually met him. Oh, really? Uh, Wolverine himself. Mm -hmm. It's like I met that guy uh, last year and hadn't talked to him yet. But it's working for you because you're getting some knockouts out of it, right? Bro, it's it's literally uh, it's magic. It's All right. Magic. Was there any any training secrets or anything that you've learned as you've gone through the process of, of just training for a, a slap fight competition? Um. So I trained in mo multiple sports before. So uh, take that same energy um, and transfer it into slap, and uh, I got double the results. So. Right on. You got a fight coming up too. I don't know how much we're allowed to say, but but uh, I will say this: good luck. Ah. All right, Bad news, fight fans. The match between the Bayou Bastard and the Executioner has been canceled. Unfortunately, the Bayou Bastard is unable to pass a physical after separating a rib during training, and he will be replaced by the winner of our alternate bracket, Black Jesus. The Mexicutioner comes to us from Mexico City, Mexico. One of the most outrageous slap fighters in the game, the Mexicutioner is not to be underestimated. With an iron jaw and 10 years experience in combat sports, this crazy Mexican has the ability to turn out the lights at a moment's notice and send his opponents into an unauthorized siesta. He's traveled to the undisclosed location to test himself at the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational. You seem pretty crazy. You excited? Uh, see? Now, you missed weight, so you gotta take Yeah, yeah uh, I, I got to lose to uh, He's gonna take the first turn. So you're gonna have to take the first hit? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, but, are you nervous about that? Uh, no. No? Huh. All right, the executioner. I yeah. wanna see a knockout. Yes, sí, senor. Yes. A newcomer to Slap Fight Championship, Black Jesus hails from the great state of Texas, where he is a member of Team Okuma. 
Originally booked as an alternate for the 2023 Invitational, he now steps up as the winner of the alternate bracket to fill the vacancy left by the Bayou Bastard. This is your first match ever. Correct. Any worries? Worries? Yeah. Not for me. Not for you? Nah. I mean, what have you been doing to build towards this? I mean, how did you figure out that you could do this? Well, man, I, I just grew up in a bad neighborhood, so you had to be ready for anything, and this is anything. So I train, man, but I can't I can't give you too much. Yeah. Oh, I, I got you. So what's your idea? Are you going to try to grow in this sport, get fans? I mean, I, well, I didn't come to lose, so I'm, I'm trying to get whatever I can get from it, you know? Uh, I like the whole vibe of it. It's like... It'll be way better to get some old Jerry to match, you know? That's right. All right. Let's win this. Well, for the light heavyweight championship tournament. Introducing first, representing Team Okuma, weighing in at 200 pounds from El Paso, Texas, Black Jesus! <laughs> And his opponent weighing in at 235 pounds from Mexico City, Mexico, here's the Mexicutioner! <laughs> Your official for this seven round contest is Q Davidson. And here we are back at the barrel with our third quarterfinal matchup of the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational. On the left side of your screen, you see the Mexicutioner, and on the right, Black Jesus. Black Jesus is the winner of our alternate bracket tonight. He's stepping in for the Bayou Bastard who is injured. I'm going to put cotton in the ear of the Mexicutioner. All of our competitors wear cotton balls in their ears to protect their eardrums from damage. And they also wear mouth guards from our sponsors at Impact Mouth Guards. And here we are at the top of round one. Black Jesus is going to get the first strike. He's going to check his placement here. And here we go. Two, three. Oh, a big shot from Black Jesus. And the Mexicutioner is down. Oh, my gosh. We have never seen this. The Mexicutioner is on his ass trying to regain his composure. He's got 60 seconds to get back to the barrel, but now the medic is on the mat. Black Jesus nonchalantly staring him down. Wow. Wow. Holy smokes. In his last fight, we watched the Mexicutioner go 10 rounds with Okuma 915. And he was just put down with one slap by Black Jesus. My gosh. <laughs> Obviously, the most important thing here is that the Mexicutioner is okay. I can see he's speaking to the medical team. Let's go. Let's go. You got Wow, I like to see that slap again. That was incredible. That's a fantastic way for Black Jesus to make his presence known in the bracket. Now the executioner only has 60 seconds to regain his composure or he will lose the match. Okay, and referee Q Davidson is signaling that that's gonna be the end of his break. And it looks like that's gonna be the end of the match but I don't think he's planning to return to the barrel. Okay, Mark the Hammer Coleman waves it off. That's a wrap, and Black Jesus moves on in the bracket with a first-round knockout of the Mexicutioner.
Oh my gosh. We're going to go down to the barrel now where they can announce the winner and uh, then hopefully we'll get a look at that replay. And there you have it, the newcomer, Black Jesus, the number 10 seed in the tournament, has upset the executioner, and he's going to move on in the tournament bracket to the semifinals. Black Jesus, big win over the executioner. You didn't even know what your opponent looked like until he got in here. So did that play in the psyche at all? Point, and I'm going to shoot. That's it. That's right. Black Jesus, okay, first round tournament, you're moving on. I know you'd love to take home that title belt, man. Yes, sir. I love jewelry. Repre representing Team Okuma from El Paso, what do you got to say for all the fans back in El Paso? Hey, man, one hit a quitter going to get you, man. Woo! One hit a quitter going to get you. Give it up, literally, for the man, Black Jesus. Taking a look at the replay here, you can see a nice clean strike, no stepping, no clubbing, and of course, never any flinching from the executioner. but unfortunately, he's gonna have to live to slap another day. The executioner is out of the tournament, and Black Jesus has pulled yet another upset in a night full of upsets at Slap Fight Championship. Taking a look at the bracket, we move over to the right side where we can see Black Jesus has moved to the semifinals and he will face the winner of our next quarterfinal matchup. Perhaps the most intimidating fighter on tonight's card, Demon hails from the great state of Kansas. A veteran of mixed martial arts, Demon has the ability to generate incredible power in his strikes. After his debut at heavyweight, where he knocked out the Hulk with what was later determined to be an illegal slap, Demon has decided to cut to light heavyweight to make a run at the Slap Fight Championship. You're intimidating, you think anything about that is gonna help you in this, in this event? No, because everybody has an idea until they get smacked in the mouth. That's right. So your overall goal is accuracy now? Keeping my feet on the ground. All right, let's see if you can redeem yourself and get you all the way. Team Rocky standout, Slim Reaper, comes to Slap Fight Championship from Harrison, Arkansas. This light heavyweight has made an aggressive statement at Slap Fight with big knockouts of Biscuit and Shimokin Thunderclap, but he has earned the respect of the fans with his willingness to accept any opponent on any given night. Tonight, he makes his third pilgrimage to the barrel in hopes of taking home the light heavyweight title. How'd your last two matches go? Pretty good. Uh, I had knockouts in both of them. Uh, the second one was a no contest due to clubbing, but uh, I'll say that was pretty good. All right, so you feel that this match is going to be a redemption match for you? Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I mean, I'm not intimidated by that guy. I got some big dude. I only fear God. All right. Invitational Light Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Introducing first wing in at 225 pounds. From Wichita, Kansas, the Demon! And 
his opponent, weighing in at 204 pounds, from Harrison, Arkansas, Slim Reaper! And we are back at the barrel with our fourth and final quarterfinal matchup of the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational. Okay. Slim Reaper versus Demon. And our lead official, Q Davidson, is going to go ahead and conduct the coin toss now. As it is. And it looks like the Slim Reaper wins the coin toss and he will take the first slap. Demon weighed in last night at 225 pounds. That's the maximum for the tournament. Slim Reaper, 204 pounds. Four pounds over the minimum. Slim Reaper, part of Team Rocky, Harrison, Arkansas. Demon, of course, from Wichita, Kansas. Demon's had a troubled pass at Slap Fight Championship. He's really struggled with penalties, and I'm hoping that he's gotten that under control because this should be a very competitive matchup. Round one. One, two, three. Oh, a big shot from Slim Reaper, and Demon goes stumbling back into his corner, man. Wow. In the corner of Slim Reaper, veteran slap fighter Rocky Moore, heavyweight contender. Something's going on with Demon here. It looks like, uh, oh my gosh, it looks like the back of his right ear has ripped away from his head. I doubt that's going to end the fight for Demon. It's a tough guy, but that's a strange injury to have in round one. <laughs> Demon's a mixed martial artist, retired mixed martial artist. He's having a difficult time controlling his stepping penalties when he faced the Hulk. He actually dropped the Hulk, knocked him out, but uh, pivoted his right foot, so... It, the fight was ruled a no contest, and I'm hopeful that he's gotten those stepping penalties under control. Sometimes it's difficult for the martial artists and, and strikers to control the pivoting of that of that front foot. One, Bottom of round one. one two, three. Oh, a big shot from Demon, and Slim Reaper eats it. Wow. A show of respect from both fighters. Oh, no. Demon with a stepping warning. That's heartbreaking. That means that uh, one more stepping violation by Demon, and he will lose a turn. Rolling into round two. Southpaw, Slim Reaper. One, two, three. Oh, and another fantastic slap from the Slim Reaper. Wow. Little bit of questionable head movement there, but I don't think it was enough to affect the power of the slap. So the officials are going to let it slide. We're in the bottom of round two. Demon very intimidating. Slim Reaper tucking his chin at Slap Fight Championship. You can tuck your chin, providing that the official can get his flattened hand between your chest and your chin. And as you can see, Slim's got that perfectly mastered. Here we go. Oh my gosh, a fantastic slap, and Slim Reaper is hurt. Wow. Slim Reaper's got one minute to recover. He's struggling to regain his composure. Going to clear the cobwebs. And it looks like it looks like the officials are going to call a stepping violation on Demon. Oh my gosh, that means Demon will now receive a penalty, and he will lose his third round slap. That means that the Slim Reaper will now have two slaps in a row. Five-time world champion Tim Sylvia in the corner of Demon. Demon looks disappointed in himself. 
It's one of the toughest guys you'll find, Demon. Sticking his chin over the barrel. The question now is how much composure has the Slim Reaper been able to regain? We're going to find out here. This is the top of round three. Pay close attention to the tape on the wrists of the competitors. Okay, another fantastic, wow, another great slap. Demon was heading for the hills there. He ran right into his corner man. And again, if you touch your corner man after taking a slap, it does count as a knockdown, so he needs to be very, very careful here. Again, take a look at the tape around the wrists of each competitor. The reason the tape is there is it helps the officials to know how deep the heel of the hand lands on the face. Now, at Slap Fight Championship, again, the heel of the hand may make contact with the face, but it cannot extend any deeper than the tip of the chin. Demon, Demon says Slim put some stank on that one. I'm pretty sure Slim's hand always smells like that. I know him. All right, Slim's going to have his fourth round slap here. Demon lost his third round slap due to stepping. Going to check his placement here. And here's your wind up for round four. Oh, and another solid slap by Slim Reaper. And Demon heads for the hills again. Wow. This puts Demon in a bad position here. We're rolling into the bottom of round four. Demon has yet to land a clean slap. He's got tremendous power, but he's got to control his right foot. The slightest movement, and they will call the penalty. He will lose another turn if so. Demon does have the power to knock Slim Reaper out, and that's what he's looking for. Many, many people have Demon picked as one of the two or three favorites in the tournament. Slim Reaper's ready. And here we go with the bottom of round four. Oh, another solid slap from Demon. He immediately looks at the line judge. Oh, and it looks like he's going to have another stepping violation here, and that's heartbreaking for Demon. Oh, my gosh. Demon is now going to receive a second penalty for stepping, and he will now lose his round five slap. That means that Slim Reaper will have two slaps in a row again, and now the question is, will Demon stay in the fight to have a shot at that last knockout? And it looks like the answer is yes. Slim Reaper's back to the barrel here. Lead official Q Davidson having a quick conversation with Demon about his technique. Now Demon's going to have to take two slaps in a row here from Slim. And so far, most of Slim's contact has sent Demon running. Whoa. Round five, let's see what Demon can take. Okay, and another, oh, and another big shot. Tim Sylvia does not touch Demon. That would have been three knockdowns, but Tim saves the day there by being spry, light on his feet. Wow. Again, if your corner man assists you after receiving a slap, if your corner man has to steady you in any way, that is a knockdown. So we have two knockdowns with Demon, and one more knockdown will cost him the fight. Oh, on the other side of the on the other side of the barrel, it looks like we may have a broken hand. Slim Reaper is complaining to the medical team that there's something wrong with his left hand. It is against the rules at Slap Fight Championship to switch hands during the match, so this could definitely be a problem. And Slim's going to step back to the barrel here, so we're going to find out what he's made of.
his left hand visibly swollen. I did hear them say that they think it's broken. This may be a lucky break for Demon, but he's still far behind on the judges' scorecards. Slim Reaper hesitant to put that hand up there. Here we go. Oh, and round six is in the books. Demon takes the slap and eats it, but Slim Reaper is in pain. Slim Reaper is over in the corner, wincing in pain, down on the floor. This might be a problem. Slim Reaper has broken his hand over the side of Demon's face. Demon takes the knee out of respect. <laughs> UFC Hall of Famer Mark Coleman says, win with your chin, Demon. Somebody needs to tell Mark that he's in the other corner. Okay, Slim's asking how much is left in the match. He has to take a slap from Demon. He says, okay. Slim's back at the barrel. He's going to look at his face. Holy smokes. A giant handprint on the left side of Slim Reaper's face. And now Slim Reaper's going to have to take another slap from Demon. I'm not sure he realizes he'll have to deliver another slap as well. Demon has an opportunity here. If he can control his foot movement, he could potentially knock out Slim Reaper and move to the semifinal. Slim Reaper's in the zone. This is the bottom of round six. Look at the face of the Slim Reaper. Checking his chin. Very high stakes. This is a big slap for Demon and for Slim Reaper. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, another fantastic ah! slap. And I, oh my gosh, it looks like Demon stepped. Oh no, Demon with another stepping violation. And that means Demon will not have another slap in this match. Oh, no. He has lost his seven-round slap. That means it is physically impossible for Demon to win this match. He's going to take this slap out of respect. Oh, and the Slim Reaper is going to give that respect back. Wow. What a fantastic match. The Slim Reaper is probably going to walk away with this one pretty handily. But whether or not he can compete in this tournament is yet to be determined with a broken left hand. Unbelievable. Let's go back down to the barrel and our lead official, Q. Davidson, for the announcement of the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest, Slim Reaper! Slim Reaper, big win right there. I know you throw southpaw. Tell me what's going on with the hand, the wrist. What's going on, man? Uh, right around my wrist area, I got a, it feels like something keeps popping out every time I hit him. And uh, I can't move my thumb right at this moment. So, you know, I'm going to go to the hospital after this to see what's up and get back with, you know, JT and let him know what's going on. I know that you said that he had a hard job. The demon had a hard job, man. Yeah, it's like sandpaper, dude. Like, <laughs> really on the cool, he needed to shave. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, man, going forward in this tournament, we hope that you're going to be fine. What's the strategy if, 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 if it's out of commission with the doc, man? I mean, I'm dexterous, bro. They just gonna have to catch us right. <laughs> they gonna catch that right. Yeah. Advancing to the next round of the contest from Harrison, Arkansas, the Slim Reaper. Yeah.
There it is, folks. The Slim Reaper showing some incredible toughness here. He says, I'm ambidextrous, bro. They're just going to have to catch this right. Wow. There he is catching a right from Demon, steadying himself on the barrel. He recovered in 60 seconds and came back with a couple of monster slaps. Very impressive, Slim Reaper. Congratulations on moving to the semifinals. And just like that, the Slim Reaper moves into the semifinal round of the tournament where he will face Black Jesus with his right hand. watching you interview and this is great I mean you're very personable so how are you here like what brought you here uh, well I started with uh, doing MMA shows um, actually uh, interviewed for a job for the, the announcer for the MMA shows I said okay but part of it is uh, I want to train and, and you know ended up being competing as well mm -hmm. sometimes uh, when somebody wouldn't show up I'd step in and, and have a little bit of fun and then we were doing all kinds of sport we got car jitsu We've got the ultimate tire wrestling. We've got the slap fight, and I like to do it all. Uh, I so think I'm, you competed in karjitsu? Uh, no, not yet. All right. I, so I've been watching that, and man, it's so it's so awesome, and I'm glad to see that me and you are people that like, you know, want to be on both sides of it. So. Sure, sure, yeah. Are you are you ready to compete? Are you gonna uh, compete? Yeah, I'll probably wait until somebody doesn't show up and, and they need someone. You know, we had someone here tonight where they didn't have a competitor and it's tough because they train, they get ready. This guy traveled a long way and you feel bad. So you just wanna step in and, and let, let him have someone to compete against. So if that happens, that's probably when I will step in, but hopefully my wife is not watching. <laughs> <laughs> so on a final note, I mean, you, you're you happy with how the organization is growing, right? Oh yeah, love it, love it. And especially just the, the popularity is picked up, you know, just on the internet, just the viewership is just through the roof. Man, this is this is great. It's good to meet you and I hope you to too. see you soon. All right, good luck with everyone. During the quarterfinal round of the 2023 Invitational, number one seed Monkey Wrench faced number three Shimokan Thunderclap in a seven round battle that ended with STC taking the win by decision. Next, undefeated slapper Okuma915 ran through team take standout Biscuit in three rounds by TKO, cementing himself as our second semifinalist. Now the two powerhouse slappers will meet at the barrel to decide which man will advance to tonight's final for the light heavyweight strap. first, representing Team Okuma, weighing in at 202 pounds, from El Paso, Texas, Okuma, 915! And introducing his opponent, from Shemokin by way of Philadelphia, Shemokin Thunder! <laughs> Your official for this contest is Kyron Bowen. And we will welcome our lead official, professional fighter Kyron Bowen back to the barrel. This is our semi-final matchup, the first semi-final of the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational. 
On the left side, we have our first semifinalist, Shemokin Thunderclap, and on the right, Okuma 915. Let's go down to the barrel for the coin toss. As it is. Shemokin Thunderclap wins the toss, and he will slap first. All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact, but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. And here we are back at the barrel with our first semifinal matchup. Shemokin Thunderclap versus Okuma 915. Shemokin has won the coin toss. He's going to have the first slap. Tonight we're seeing the best version of STC that we have seen in years. And anything can happen. Here we go, round one. Shemokin Thunderclap checking his placement. Here's your wind up. And a big shot from Shimokin to start the match, but Okuma just eats it and stays in the pocket. Looks like there will be no break in round one. Lead official Kyron Boeing telling Okuma to keep his thumb tucked so that we don't have an eye poke. And here we go, bottom of round one. Oh, Shemokin Thunderclap goes down in round one. Holy smokes. Medical team's already at the platform having a conversation with Shemokin Thunderclap. He does have 60 seconds to regain his composure and return to the barrel. Okuma staring him down. Wow. 40 seconds remaining. That's providing that the medical team does allow him to return to competition tonight. Thunderclap is cognizant. He's awake. He's communicating with the medic. But it is undecided if they're going to let him compete. Let's listen in. This fight might be over, friends. We may have a winner here. Shemokin Thunderclap just a little bit confused. It looks like they're explaining to him now that this fight is over and they're gonna take him back to get an examination in with the doc. We have a finalist, ladies and gentlemen, Okuma 915. Okay, let's take a look at the slapfight.live replay here. Right away at the beginning of the fight, Shemokin Thunderclap with a huge bomb right across the right side of Okuma's face. Okuma eats it and immediately returns with a bomb of his own. Look at this, perfect placement, good power, turns out the lights on Shemokin Thunderclap, and he takes a seat immediately right into the arms of Mark the Hammer Coleman. Unbelievable knockout by Okuma915, moving him into the final round. You can really see the improvements that he's made in his game since his debut at Slap Fight 21. Okuma915, big semifinal win. Gonna take you all the way to the top in this tournament. Now, Shemokin Thunderclap, he's been around for a long time, but man, you made light work of him. What was, I mean, what was the strategy going into that? Because you know he's got an iron jaw, man. I uh, just worked on my stance and uh, my position. Stance and position. El Paso, Texas, you're representing them proud today. What what do you see going forward in this tournament? You gonna take it on back to Texas? Tim Okuma's trying to get a belt. Tim Okuma trying to get that belt, and he's one step closer. Stay tuned for more Slap Fight Championship. And just like that, the left side of the tournament bracket is completely filled. We will now move to the second semifinal match to see who will face Okuma 915 in the final.
Black Jesus, the winner of our alternate bracket, stepped into the tournament during the quarterfinal round and absolutely lambasted the executioner, making his presence known and advancing himself in the light heavyweight tournament. His opponent, the Slim Reaper, battled his way into the semifinals by trading shots with one of the most dangerous strikers in the game, Demon. With a broken left hand, Slim returns to the barrel in the semifinal, ready to showcase what he can do with his right. Get ready, fight fans. This matchup promises fireworks. One of these two slappers is about to advance to the final round. It's El Paso's own Black Jesus taking on Arkansas badass, the Slim Reaper. the Slap Fight Invitational Tournament for the Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, he will be representing Team Okuma, weighing in at 200 pounds, from El Paso, Texas, Black Jesus! Opponent. He weighs in at 204 pounds from Harrison, Arkansas, Slim Rico! Yeah! Your official for this seven rounds is Kyron Bowen. We're going to welcome Kyron Bowen back to the barrel here for the second semifinal of the 2023 Invitational. On our left, Slim Reaper, and on our right, Black Jesus. Let's go down to the barrel and listen in for the coin toss. Heads it is. And Slim Reaper wins the coin toss. He's going to have the first slap. Nobody expected that Black Jesus would make it this far in the tournament. He's the number 10 seed. So far, he's dominated the tournament, and he has a tough, tough test in front of him now. Slim Reaper is no joke, but he did injure his left hand earlier in the tournament, and he will be swinging with his right during this match. Black Jesus has taken no damage. Slim Reaper faced Demon in the quarterfinals. Took quite a bit of damage. But anything can happen. Here we are at the top of round one. Slim Reaper checking his placement. And we'll find out here what he can produce with his right. Oh, no. Okay, a little bit of a club there to the neck of Black Jesus. And of course, Kyron Bowen is going to call that. That's a warning for clubbing for Slim Reaper. He's going to have to get that under control or it may be a problem in the match. We're now at the bottom of round one. The officials reminding Slim Reaper that the mouthpiece goes inside the mouth. Here's your wind up. Oh my gosh. Black Jesus with a big shot on Slim Reaper. Slim Reaper may have just waved off the fight here. Black Jesus looks at his corner man, Tim Sylvia. Tim says he thinks the fight might be over. Slim's having a conversation with his corner man, Rocky Moore. Rocky is encouraging him to take his break and consider staying in the fight, but Slim looks like he might be finished here. It's a hell of a shot by Black Jesus. I'd like to see it again. Black Jesus from Team Okuma has surprised everyone tonight. Oh my gosh, this fight is over. And just like that, Black Jesus has advanced to the final round where he will face his teammate, Okuma915. Holy smokes. Wow. Unbelievable performances tonight by Black Jesus. 
Of course, we hope Slim Reaper's okay. He's going to go have a talk with the medical team, make sure everything's okay, and, and we'll check in with him just in a few minutes. But right now, let's take a look at this replay. Slim Reaper visibly having a hard time with his right hand. Not quite as coordinated. Black Jesus ate that shot and returned. A right hand across the jaw, and just like that, Slim Reaper realized this fight wasn't going to go well for him, and he withdrew. I'm sure we'll see Slim Reaper again, but tonight, Black Jesus has stolen the show and is going into the final round once again to face his teammate, Okuma915. Semi-final round, winner, Black Jesus. Hey man, look, Slim Reaper, I know he was slapping with his offhand, so his accuracy was a little bit off. Still tough competitor though in the contest? Yes sir, that's part of the game. Well look, you're gonna advance to the finals, and it's no man that you're stranger to. You guys are both on the same fight team, right? Team Okuma? Yes sir. But look, it's gonna be Black Jesus and Okuma915 squaring off for that championship match. What's the strategy having to face a guy that you train with and spend time in the gym with? It's no friends when it's business, man. He greedy. All business from Black Jesus. Stay tuned for more Scott High Championship. With the tournament bracket completely filled, we now are just moments away from our final matchup, Okuma 915 versus Black Jesus. Undefeated newcomer and tournament dark horse Black Jesus has sliced through the competition tonight with a huge knockout of the Executioner and a TKO of Slim Reaper. Having taken only one slap during the tournament, he advances to the finals fresh and ready to bang with teammate Okuma915, also dominating all comers with a heavy hand and a resilient chin. He's TKO'd both Shimokan Thunderclap and Biscuit while only throwing four strikes all night. With his chin fully checked, he prepares for an all-out slap fest with Black Jesus for the light heavyweight strap. It's time, fight fans, for the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational Tournament Final. Let's go back down to the barrel and decide a champion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the finals of the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational Light Heavyweight Championship Tournament. The winner will take home the Slap Light Light Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, representing Team Okuma, weighing in at 200 pounds, from El Paso, Texas, Black Jesus! <laughs> and his opponent and teammate, Representing Team Okuma, weighing in at 202 pounds, from El Paso, Texas, Okuma, 9 one yeah! Your official for this seven round contest is Kyron Bowen. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, at the final round of the 2023 Invitational. Lead official Kyron Bowen with the coin toss. Let's listen in. Heads it is. And Okuma915 wins the coin toss and will have the advantage of the first strike. All right, folks, let's take a look at the rules of slap fight. First off, no clubbing. All competitors must land their strikes with an open hand. The heel of the hand may make contact but cannot extend past the chin. Next, no stepping. Feet must be planted shoulder width apart, and there can be no pivoting or stepping when striking. And finally, no flinching. Small reactions are allowed, but any movement that affects the power of the strike is a foul. Okay, while we were away, these two gentlemen had a conversation. They shook hands and they agreed to leave it 100% at the barrel tonight. Let's go. Nobody thought the number 10 seed would come from the alternate bracket to the finals. 
but that's what's happened. Okuma, number five seed. One, Here he goes, round one. Two, three. Oh! Okuma puts Black Jesus on his ass immediately. Black Jesus is struggling to get back to his feet. All right, the medic is asking him to take his time here. That was a hard shot. Okuma takes a knee out of respect. Get some new catchers in here. Black Jesus taking a drink, just taking a second to clear the cobwebs. Looks like he's going to try to get back to the barrel. He has 60 seconds to regain his composure. Here he comes. Okay, looks like the, the medic's going to let him continue here. Wow. Now we're going to find out if Okuma can take one of these slaps from Black Jesus. We're in the bottom of round one. Black Jesus checks his placement. Here's your wind up. And Okuma eats it. Yeah. Holy smokes. Okuma 915 surprising everybody by eating a shot that no one's been able to eat this evening. Top of round two. Teammates colliding at the barrel for the title tonight. Oh! Okuma 915 with another big shot. Black Jesus is back down on the mat. This is two knockdowns. Oh no, we've got a warning here. A stepping warning for Okuma. Pull it together, bro. Come on, you're still in this. You're still in it, let's go. Black Jesus on, taking a second to clear the cobwebs again. Okuma looks disgusted with himself. It's just a warning. It was an unintentional stepping violation. Otherwise, he would have been immediately issued a penalty. Black Jesus is telling the doctor that he can get up and continue, so let's see if he can stand. Mark the Hammer Coleman in the corner for Okuma. Five-time UFC champion Tim Sylvia in the corner for Black Jesus. Very sound advice from Tim Sylvia. He says, look, you can live to fight another day. Black Jesus wants the belt. He's back. All right, here we go. We are in the bottom of round two. Okuma has scored two knockdowns. Black Jesus has only scored one point. And here's your windup at the bottom of round two. And Okuma eats it. We, we may be issued a clubbing warning here, but Okuma did flinch just a little bit, so they may. Okay, they're going to let that slide. We're back at the barrel, top of round three. Can Black Jesus stay on his feet? If he goes down a third time, that's going to be an instant TKO, and we will have a new champion. Oh, and Okuma 915 destroys Black Jesus in three rounds. And fight fans, we have a new light heavyweight champion. Holy smokes. Okuma 915 comes from the number five seed and wins the tournament with a heavy right hand. Oh, my. Okay, we're taking a look. Black Jesus is still down on the mat. His eyes are open. He is talking to the medical team. Wow. Seems to be okay. We're going to have him take just a moment here and, and uh, pull himself back together. Okuma showing a lot of respect here. Okuma is the man responsible for getting Black Jesus into the slap game. Wow, what an incredible ending to the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational. Okuma 915, the new light heavyweight American slap fighting champion. And 
tonight we've also seen the birth of a new slap fight star, Black Jesus. We're going to listen in now. Get that bell, Akuma. Where are you going, dude? Yeah, you earned that. <laughs> you gotta get, you're forgetting something. You need to hear Taking a look at the replay here, another perfectly placed slap by Okuma. Puts Black Jesus down three times. One stepping warning. I don't believe that the stepping violation in any way led to the knockdown. A little bit of an ugly slap there by Black Jesus, but again, knocked down twice and still in the match. Sometimes throws off your equilibrium and your dexterity. But looky here, Okuma915 sailed through the Slap Fight Invitational, eating only five slaps for the entire tournament. He threw seven slaps to become the champion. At six wins and zero losses, congratulations, Okuma915. Slap Fight Championship, light heavyweight champion, and here to bring out the belt for you is the Wolverine. Come on out here. Yeah! 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 Wolverine, I know you're a soft-spoken guy. Are you ever gonna come back and maybe challenge for that belt? I plan on it. All right, all right, man. Yeah! That is going to be awesome. Okay, but I want to talk about this fight. Yeah. One thing I wanted to ask you is when, when you guys first, the first shot, you dropped him, and I kind of saw something in your eyes where you, you kind of felt bad. Is, is that accurate? Or am I reading into that? Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't feel bad. I just uh, want to compete and compete against the best, and, uh, you know, he hits hard, so. Your best, the best so happened to be your teammate. Yes, so. Yeah, and, you, and I know you checked on him, but, but he's doing all right, right? Yeah, he's doing good. He's a strong guy. Too. Okay. Yeah. And I saw a lot of power tonight, man, more than I've seen in, in the past. Have you done anything to work on that to improve your power? Uh, just working with my positioning of the feet and uh, my striking. Wow, you look good. And I, I, boy, I'm excited for that. You guys excited for him and Wolverine? Yes, yeah. 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 And for now, you enjoy it. He is the champion, Akuma. Thanks for watching the 2023 Slap Fight Invitational Light Heavyweight Championship. Tonight was an incredible night. 10 American slap fighters laid it all on the line, all the way to the final round where we saw El Paso, Texas natives, Okuma 915 and Black Jesus battle it out for the title. What an incredible storyline tonight for Okuma 915. Big knockout wins over Biscuit, Shimokan Thunderclap, and of course, Black Jesus. Incredible performances tonight by all of our slappers. Thank you so much for supporting American Slap Fighting. Don't forget to follow Slap Fight Championship on all social media and support the growth of American Slap Fighting. My name is JT Tilly, and you've been watching Slap Fight. There is only one. Bert, I saw you one thing. Not only are you a good slapper, you're a good interviewer. I was watching you talk to the guys, and, and you're very personable. Uh, what what draw, drew you to that? You know, I just love talking to people. I mean, my fiance gets upset everywhere we go. I can just <laughs> talk to someone. So it just seems natural, and I, I love hearing people's stories. So that's what gets me into it. Yeah. Right on. Well, let's hear your story. What, what, what brought you to the slap fight you know, competition? Um, I was very fortunate. I had a great friend, Devin Swan. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, they asked him who he'd like to compete against. He, you know, gave me. And how we, here we are now, everything's great. That's what you were referencing when you were talking to the, the fighter earlier about going against somebody you, you like and were friends with, right? Yep, yep. So, yeah, okay, got it. Well, how, what'd you feel about this, this event here tonight, overall? I loved it, I loved the energy, I mean, the people, the fans, everything's great about it. Um, it's different. I love that it's different from what we're doing in the aspect of like the production, because to me, this just gets me going, I, I love it. 
Yeah. So was it hard to see everybody compete tonight and not get a chance to do it yourself? Oh, uh, yes. There's a couple times where I was like, oh, man, I wish that would have been me, you know, obviously right. on the winning side. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, after they fall, you're like, yeah. oh, I wish I was standing there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> well, right on. You got a fight coming up as well? Yes, I do have a fight coming up in March. Um, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, I am on the card for March 11th. Awesome, awesome. Well, that's great, and, and good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you.